Hey guys, well it's been uh, a week uh, for us, and it's been almost uh, three years since Scott Whalen left um, Battle Revolver, and after all the drama and the uh, possibility that maybe um, Coy Taylor was going to be singing for those guys, and uh, Slash going out with his new album, and you know Matt Sorum doing the new album, his uh, new album, Duff McKagan doing his new album, and stuff, apparently the guys were just... Um, they have already patched up things between them and now uh, Scott Whalen is ready to consider start going back to singing with them maybe uh, you know doing some shows here and then and maybe 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 you know go back to them as a full-time member if you ask me it's not a bad idea but um, I think they should have uh, put that behind them maybe done something with Coy Taylor maybe not as Velvet Revolver but you know as a logical continuation of Velvet Revolver but uh, you know how those um, guitar types are, right? So whatever, to each his own. Sorry. Um, uh, for those of you who like Skeleton, which this band, which uh, has gone gather quite a few um, accolades to the music world because of their extreme metal music, uh, they're gonna be releasing a new album in October via Prosthetic Records. Uh, the album is gonna be called Forever Abomination, and it was produced by Man Hyde, who you know we know that work with uh, Slayer. Uh, machine head and creator and it will be include include a song called uh, infernal resurrection which is a b-side of the seven inch of uh, another album the limited edition banal trilogy well apparently it's like a special song Forever Revolution is going to be released on various albums. It's going to be in format, sorry, it's going to be a digital download, a six panel f plastic face, uh, plastic free digipack, a triple gateful LP, which is going to be available in various colors. And it's going to be 11 songs long, which including The Horrifying Force, um, in parentheses, The Desire to Kill, Reduced to a Failure of a Prayer, uh, Of Action Torment, Choke Up and Betrayal, Erased and Forgotten, The Infernal Resurrection. Rejoice in Misery, uh, The Cleaver of Souls, Shredding Sacred Flesh, Skin Beneath Insanity, Sink Beneath ins Insanity, and My Skin of Deceit. Apparently, um, it's an album that I'm going to be checking out. Definitely, it shows that uh, there's a lot of potential over there in, uh, in, um, in the United States. And uh, apparently, those guys play really well. So, I'm going to be checking that out. You should too. Remember October via Prosthetic Records. Uh, Adrenaline Mob. You know the band, the new project in featuring Mike Pornoy and uh, Russell Allen, along uh, alongside guitar virtuals of Mike Orlando and bassist Paul Leo and Rick War, will are going to be releasing their new uh, EP. It's going to be coming out on October the 9th, which means uh, two days from now. Uh, so, um, that would be Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. For those of you who might be interested, it's going to be on um, on iTunes and also on, in physical form. And the upcoming shows, and of course, the, uh, the on, on their online store. Uh, it's four lo four tracks song, um, four tra uh, four original track song, and one cover. The first one, the first four are Psycho Saint, Believe Me, Hit the Wall, Down the Floor, and of course, a cover of Black Sabbath's The Mob Rules, which is I think very nice. I'm gonna be checking it out just if only just for um, remembering uh, the late Johnny James, Johnny James, Ronnie James Dio. So yeah, that's that. Um, so for those of you who are fans of uh, Sonata Artica, there's gonna, they're going to be releasing a new um, DVD, which is about damn time, uh, and because we only have For the Sake of Revenge, if you remember correctly. And it's going to be called Lab in Finland, and it's going to be released on October 28th. It will include the band's entire uh, April 15th, 2011 uh, at the Club Teatria. In Olo, Finland, which is a great album, a great place where a lot of bands have filmed their uh, their DVDs, as well as a bonus disc containing four songs that were filmed at the band's own festival on August 8, 8 2009, in Kemi. Um, also featuring the DVD will be some Antarctica promotions, promotional videos for the songs "Don't Say a Word," "Paid in Full," and "Flag in the Ground." Uh, photo gallery and behind the scenes footage from the making of the DVD. Also, bonus DVD CD containing eight songs that were recorded at the Kemi festival. Uh, in uh, in Finland, live, uh, Lance Klingberg or Henrik Klingenberg, Klingenberg is uh, you know the the one who's saying a lot of it. It's gonna be uh, how happy he is that he's gonna be on the on the new album. 
and you know it's gonna, it's an, a chance for you or for those of you who have not seen uh, the band played with a uh, evil with uh, Elias Vilgeinen do it uh, it's very interesting very good show if you ask me I have seen those guys two times and I think it's a great time I would still have loved to see um, Johnny Limatainen play but other than that I think it's a great band even if I didn't like that much uh, Days of Grace but you know still a lot of work to do there uh, from from my side I, I still need to check out more of uh, Sonata Artica's new album uh, for those of you who like uh, Rob Zombie, or White Zombie rather, and those of you who are, were impressed by um, Sean Isolt's um, mm, ability to play, you know, uh, she's going to release a new album with his new band called Star and Dagger, which also features uh, Ethan Allen and Dave Catching. Uh, it's gonna be, it's called, the band is called Star and Dagger, as you'd say, it's gonna feature. Um, uh, recordings from 2010 sessions and it's gonna be um, well the band is uh, uh, Sean uh, Isolt uh, on bass, vocalist Bon Hesseling, guitarist Donna She Wolf from Cycle Slot from Hell and, um, and drummer Dustin Crops. Other than that the, band, the album was recorded at uh, Rancho de la Luna in Joshua Tree, California and we don't have a lot of mo a lot more uh, details but as soon as we have them we're gonna give them to them to you. There's also a new um, solo album from Static X frontman uh, Wayne Static, which is gonna be called um, the band. The album, rather, it's gonna be on under Wayne Static's uh, banner, and the album is gonna be called uh, Pick Hammer. Apparently, there's a concept about uh, the going. It's about transformation. It's, it's about his fight with drugs, and it's gonna be talking about you know um, transformation through pain. This is that. Big hammer concept. It's about a, a hammer used by a plastic surgeon who uses to use to transform uh, hot girls into pigs, basically. So it's a bit twisted and different from what uh, from what's been going on on the uh, on the normal, right? On the normal, what what would happen normally? Uh, it's about you know basically it's about uh, there's a new um, there's gonna be a, a first single called Assassination Assassins of Youth. And it's all about uh, you know how drugs destroy you when you're when you're young, and um, it's all about you know his transformation from a drug addict to somebody who kicked drugs. You know uh, that Big Hammer is going to be 12 songs long. It includes a uh, Big Hammer, Are on the Turn, Assassins of Youth, Thunder Invader, Is That the Killer, She, Get It Together, uh, Chrome Nation, Shifter, Slade, The Creatures Are Everywhere, and Behind the Sky. Uh, another great band that has been doing having some changes is uh, Dark King, who has been joined by by vocalist Lance Macri, who has who sang in the in the band's debut, Rusted Angel, and who sang on uh, 2002's Expanding Senses. Uh, Lawrence is going to be taking the place of um, James Roman, who has decided to part their ways for uh, very personal reasons, and this guy uh, Lawrence is going to be coming back. It's uh, apparently been a lot of, well, apparently more than 11 years or 12 years that he has been away and now he's going back and he's, you know, ready to sing from all albums. And it's an amical departure with uh, Jens Roman. And everything is going to be doing, uh, you know, very well. For those of you still interested in Keith Caputo or Mina Caputo, I want, maybe you should be calling him her. Uh, he has completed work on his new band called uh, Neptune Darlings. Their, the effort was produced by Keith and Ryan Oldcastle, who is also the other part of the band, and features work by David Lupton, engineering, mixing, and recording. Uh, additional re engineering, mixing, and recording was done by uh, Life of Agony's Joseph Sampella and Method Groves, Groves Studi Groove Studios in Brooklyn, New York. It's nine sounds long, and it's uh, it, it features. Eight Order of the Sun, uh, Headspace, Neptunus, All My Life, White Swan, The Demon in Me, Glow Warm, Little Owl, Chestnut, and Fireflies. And it was recorded entirely by Keith Mina Caputo, who, th who did uh, vocals, piano, acoustic ba bass, electric piano, Wurlitzer, electric piano, and subharmonics. And by Ryan Oldcastle, who did vocals, piano, acoustic, and electric guitars, electric bass, synthesizers, subattractive, and added, ad additive synths, and of course, frequency modulations. So, apparently, very weird music that's gonna be out there for the, you to enjoy. 
and um, lastly um, Nine Covens this uh, black metal band from uh, England has been signed with a um, Candlelight Records to for the release of their new album on the coming darkness on the coming of darkness it's gonna be released in October apparently this band is feature, features key extreme members from the last bands from the last decade and apparently it's they do it to, so they can explore the darker and more brooding aspects of black metal band and uh, you know doing a lot of harm in the way uh, they don't say who they are or well, apparently I didn't I couldn't find information of, on them uh, the song, the album is uh, well. They they they're very happy to to sign with uh, Candlelight Records. And if you know any of the bands who, who sign with Candlelight Records, you know that Candlelight Records doesn't sign just any any band that comes out of the world. Group. They usually sign quality bands. So uh, we're happy about that. That is, the effort is going to be apparently nine songs long, which features uh, apparently it's like mm, every song is divided. It's to a, a two-parter, a three-parter of a of a concept. The first part it's called "On the Resurrection and the Harrowing of Hell," features three parts, which includes "To Heaven's Doors in Sword Night," "Concealed in Darkness He," "Recited to the Darkness Fall." The second concept is "On the Ascension and Torment of Hell," which features "Cold Exile in of the Fallen of a Fallen Idol," "In the Darkness Find the Light of Solace," and the third concept is "On the Day of Judgment," and it features "Quake Before Thy Earthly Judge." Um, part two features a uh, new light from the earth shall uh, shall shine, featuring Grutle from Enslaved, and the Exiles Complain, which features a friendless exile and a mind sorrows rest. And now we're gonna be talking about two albums that I wanted to talk to you about. The first one is um, uh, uh, Karen's debut album, which is which is um, Sorrow Burn. It's one of my favorite albums. It's one of the the first albums that they recorded, of course. And of course, it's uh, one of the albums in which they uh, still had some of their metal, death metal trappings. You know, they were still uh, trying to decide between being uh, that kind of gothic metal and death metal stuff that they, uh, goth metal stuff that they did before, and the uh, death metal, which is the reason why the band itself uh, joined and that was uh, lost when, uh, or rather, shifted from when JP Le Paluoto, um join them right uh, I, there's not much to say this other than the fact that it's a great album and it, it's uh, nine songs long it features um, some of the greatest songs that I've heard in Karen uh, Serenity, Vortex, um, Breeze, To Serve You, Nightwing is a great song from my point of view November's Eve uh, which is I think one of the songs that most closely resembles what would um, Cherry Bob to into and Morrow which is a great great song uh, what can I say? Uh, it features uh, JP Le Paloto on, on vocals, Pasi Sipila on guitar, Jace Jazeb on Hast on uh, guitar, and Karihitala, Anti Karihitala, and, te and drums, and Temu Hautamaki, Hautamaki in, uh, on, uh, on bass. Uh, great album, check it out, especially if you haven't been able to check it out. It's a uh, gothic metal, it's one of those um, Finnish metal albums that are very, very good. And you can, it's a great starting point for one of those for Karen if you haven't checked it out. And the other album I'm gonna be talking to you, it's um, Escape Ecstasy from um, Poison Black, also the first album that they released, and uh, another album that also features uh, Pe Kalepa Luoto on vocals. This was right after, right after, well, right around the time that Karen was uh, recording um, The Dying Daylights, and he was split before between the two bands. Uh, but also features the guitar playing of one Villa La Hiala, uh, better known as the frontman for a sentence for for uh, the last albums or, or for the best albums in my opinion of sentence. And it's a uh, it's a great album. Also, it's a uh, more gothic metal kind of uh, somewhere in uh, in the love metal vein. Uh, one the only one compl I like the the singing. I like the music. The only complaint that I have is that it's maybe a bit repetitive at, at points and at sometimes mainly I think because of the of uh, JP Le Paluoto singing uh, that the band doesn't the band uh, sounds uh, too too a lot like um, too much like Karen but uh, I, I think it's not only because of the of the of the singing of JP 
but also because of the way the songs are written and not that, are, that they're written badly but because they have um, you know that sound that certain sound that's uh, you know Finnish death uh, gothic metal and then you have to add uh, that like I said it's a bit repetitive at some points but uh, I still would recommend it if I had to give it a, a, a rating I would say it's an, an 8 and Karen's album would be around a 9 other than that uh, great album it features um, great great um, guitar playing by Bill Lajiada great uh, keyboards by Marcus Sonek and Jane, Janne Kukonen and does a great that's great, good work on the bass and Tamo, Tarmo Canerva, who has stayed with uh, Poison Black for a long time, does a good job on on the drums. Uh, I actually liked uh, Poison Black better after they ch they left uh, JP Le Paluoto because I think uh, they have you know uh, they have better um, they have a better sound and they it allowed. Not only Billy like Hiala to come back to singing, but also to change his um, his guitar playing to fit more her style and of course resemble more closely sentence which at the, at the time of Escape Ecstasy recording was still active. And for those of you who like uh, you know um, sentence, you know that Billy like Hiala doing sentence is you know great. What else can I say to you? Um, Oh, and that, check it out. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you that Ministry is back after doing a lot of fuss for their last album, which on the See You Later tour. Um, they have come back, they're gonna be playing on next uh, year's um, Back in Open Air, so uh, we'll be talking about their reunion as soon as we have more details. Other than that, have a great weekend and see you next week.